Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for the this week in July. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Taurus. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Taurus with the clear, concise message from you. All right, so Taurus, it looks like we have uh, on the table, we have concern. We have uh, toil and labor. We have courtship. And at the bottom of the deck, we have distant horizons, okay? Um, so it looks like there's a relationship, some... Uh, okay, so there's a relationship where you feel like you're deeply pessim pessimistic about it. Like you have... You don't think about this relationship or this person in a good light you have put so much work energy effort time into this relationship over and over again especially with toil and labor coming up you feel like you've just been working 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 on this you you've been the only one invested in seeing it through and actually making it work um this could be an open relationship somebody could have someone else you could know about it or vice versa this is you um, or you don't know about it. You feel like, okay, so off camera when I was shuffling for you, I got the number eight. Eight. So the eight talks about work. It talks about perfecting your craft. It talks about truth, compassion, uh, honesty, and forgiveness. Um, again, it, talk, it talks about over and over again. It talks about wash, rinse, repeat. It seems as if if you allow this relationship to come back into your life, it's going to be just that. Wash, rinse, repeat the same cycle over and over again. In eight, it, you know, how, how you draw an eight is two circles, basically. So this is a cycle for you. This is something cyclical going on between you and this person. It's about you getting off the hamster wheel and actually learning the lesson, moving on, and looking into the distant horizons to get what it is you want for yourself. Distant Horizon talks about hopes, wishes, dreams being fulfilled. It says if it's far away from the seeker of the uh, reading, then it's, it's just a hope, it's just a wish. So you have to make this your reality here. How do you do that? Get off the hamster wheel with this person who is not bringing much to the table. It seems as if some of you you might be more invested in the connection than the other person now invested in terms of money love time energy i don't know but you've made more of the investment of actually putting the work into it showing up to the relationship um you've done the forgiving you've done the being compassionate you've done all of that this is just a courtship here um for some of you this is just a relationship it has not transpired into anything serious engagement or marriage for some of you this has been a long courtship uh where things have not turned over for you just yet you have it's been unrealized some unrealized potential and that may be all that you're dealing with in terms of this person you have deep concern about this connection because you're not sure if they can give you what you want and you're analyzing their every thought i mean every their every move their every word you're going over it in your thoughts here um you're not letting them get away with anything at this point because you already have you could be dealing with a dark male someone who could be of um, darker descent in their color their thick skin tone um they could be of um spanish arabian black of course anybody someone with curly hair or someone who feels as if they are they give you that kind of rico suave vibe or um, they, they know that they're sexy or they're hot um they may use that to get by on something is destined to happen here destiny um the cards want you to start thinking about your destiny what is your destination here in this connection in your own life whoa okay the cards is all flipped out triangle flipped out so again we have the energy of this being more than one person involved here this being a connection where there are no strings attached or someone still wants to maintain their freedom 
there's a lot of gossip going on or surrounding you and this connection, this relationship, this person. Um, there are people talking about what they don't know, some about what they do know. Let's see. There's somebody here who wants to maintain their freedom, but they want you also. They want the connection because you offer something. I don't know if, if it's home for you or you're their home. I don't know. You know, when they go wander off and they can come back home. Friendship. Okay. Um, this person could be just a friend or they want to be just friends or as friends with benefits because with the freedom and the friendship card that will be friends with benefits some of you feel like this is your soulmate and that's why you hang on and that's why the connection is so strong some of you have just become the wallflower not dressing up not going out not getting out there waiting for this energy to return to you for whatever reason let's see what this person has to offer um, or what they have to say to you what do the cards have to say to Taurus um, this person definitely could want like this friends with benefits type of situation. They no strings attached. They know that you want more and that's what keeps them coming back or that's what keeps you tied to them. Some of you are going to get a new job that just fell onto the floor. Or some of you, you met this person at your new job. Um, some of you are hoping for a new job. Um, make it a reality by putting the energy, effort, time behind what it is you want. Oh, wow. And I said, so I want zero attachments. Somebody wants zero attachments here. They want you to get stop being a wallflower. Participate in life. You should buy that item. Self-care. Um, yeah. So, th the cards want you to focus on you. Right. Um, someone is saying, I say what I think you need to hear to stay. So, someone just says whatever it is they think you need to hear so that you'll stay. Um, you'll stay put, you'll stay with them, you'll stay in that same energy of just waiting, longing for the relationship to manifest into something. Someone is saying, I'm coming back to you, change man or woman. Um, interesting. Okay, so we have an energy of someone saying that they, they change. But at the same time, you get a narcissistic vibe here where someone is saying it's just a relationship. You'll get over it. They don't even care that you're hurt, um, that you uh, you feel displaced. Somebody is praying for your downfall, okay? And maybe that could be the haters, the gossipers, somebody's gossiping. Wow, as I say that, um, your friends are jealous of us, so some of you... You know your friends are jealous of you and your connection or your person is saying that. Um, your person could be saying, uh, I'm aware of all the shit I've done. Please forgive me. So someone wants forgiving. It seems as if you've done that a lot. Um, someone is saying, I'll get back to you when I can, okay? Um, again, this is like that friends with benefits type situation where they just don't really care about your feelings. Uh, they didn't know it was that deep and they don't even care. They're actually saying to you, it's just a relationship. You'll get over it. Some of them, some of you, your story is that someone wants to come back. They're saying that they've changed. They want your forgiveness once again. I don't, I don't see you thinking positive about this. You don't think it's going to go in a new direction. You might give this person another opportunity. But I don't see you thinking positive like you're going to run off into the sunset with this person. Because they have to do a lot. Um, it says release your worries and receive universal abundance. Very nice. Okay. And the last card. Um, you are moving on to a steady and reliable path. So it looks like you're focused on you, Taurus. You, you focus on stability, um, being more reliable, abundance, especially with this horizon, with this distant horizons card. It talks about spirituality too. Um, getting more spiritually astute. Uh, learning about different modalities of spirituality. If you want to bring in new energy, get in on the new moon manifestation session that is happening this Friday, July 9th. Um, there'll be a, a video following this video where you can get more information. Also linked in the description box is how you can sign up to manifest a new love. 
new streams of income, banish people, places, things, situations, fear in your life. Get in on that manifestation session, okay? Um, Taurus, you can always get your oracle reading just like this one at the website level. You can also ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below, paying for your question, receiving the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link. Thank you, Taurus. Many blessings to you. Take care.